As we gaze up at the night sky, countless stars twinkle back at us, each a potential host to worlds beyond our imagination. The universe, vast and mysterious, holds secrets we've only begun to unravel. Among these enigmas, none captivates the human mind quite like the possibility of alien worlds teeming with life. Join us on an extraordinary voyage through the cosmos as we explore the potential habitats of extraterrestrial beings. Our journey begins close to home, in our very own solar system. Mars, the red planet, has long been a subject of fascination for scientists and science fiction writers alike. Its rusty landscapes, once thought barren, now hint at a more complex story. Beneath the Martian surface, a network of underground lakes may exist, sheltered from the harsh radiation that bombards the planet's face. Could these hidden reservoirs harbor microbial life, descendants of ancient Martian ecosystems that thrived when the planet was warmer and wetter? But Mars is just the beginning. Let's venture further to the moons of gas giants that orbit our sun. Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, conceals a global ocean beneath its icy crust. This vast, liquid expanse, warmed by tidal forces, could be a cradle for life unlike anything we've ever encountered. Imagine bioluminescent creatures gliding through the darkness, their bodies adapted to the crushing pressures of their watery home. Perhaps they cluster around hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, drawing energy from the moon's core in a delicate dance of survival. Not to be outdone, Saturn's moon Titan beckons with its thick, hazy atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane. Here, on this frigid world, we might find life that has evolved to thrive in conditions utterly alien to Earth. Picture organisms with cell membranes made not of lipids, but of complex hydrocarbons, floating in seas of ethane and methane. These hypothetical creatures could have metabolisms so foreign to us that they would redefine our very understanding of what constitutes life. But why limit ourselves to our cosmic backyard? The galaxy is vast and exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, number in the billions. Among these distant worlds, super-Earths loom large in our search for alien life. These planets, more massive than Earth but smaller than Neptune, could have diverse environments ripe for biological exploration. Imagine a super-Earth with a gravitational pull twice that of our home planet. Life here would evolve to be short and stocky, with powerful muscles to counteract the increased gravity. The dense atmosphere might be rich in oxygen, allowing for the evolution of megafauna that would dwarf Earth's largest creatures. Picture a forest where the trees grow wide rather than tall, their branches intertwining to form living cathedrals that house a myriad of alien species. Not all potentially habitable worlds need to mirror Earth, though. Some exoplanets orbit red dwarf stars, the most common type of star in our galaxy. These planets are often tidally locked, with one side perpetually facing their star while the other remains in eternal darkness. Life on such a world might concentrate in the twilight zone between day and night, where temperatures are moderate and energy from the star is neither too intense nor too scarce that I end this twilight realm. Imagine a landscape of tall spires, not rock formations, but living towers that have evolved to capture the oblique light of the ever-setting sun. These biological skyscrapers could house entire ecosystems, from the base where creatures burrow to escape the heat, to the pinnacles where flying organisms soar on thermal updrafts, never knowing a true night or day. But what of worlds even more exotic? Gas giants like Jupiter are unlikely hosts for life as we know it, but their upper atmospheres present intriguing possibilities. Picture vast, balloon-like organisms drifting through layers of clouds, filtering nutrients from the gas surrounding them. These creatures might grow to enormous sizes, unconstrained by gravity or solid surfaces, their translucent bodies shimmering with bioluminescent patterns as they communicate across the endless skies that I end the search for alien life. Water has long been considered essential. But what if we're limiting our imagination? On distant worlds, other liquids might take water's place as the solvent of life. On a planet with a boiling hot surface, silicone-based life could evolve, with organisms that thrive in lakes of liquid rock, 
their bodies impervious to temperatures that would vaporize Earth's hardiest extremophiles. Conversely, on a world of extreme cold, ammonia or liquid nitrogen could form the basis for life's chemistry. Envision crystalline beings that grow and change with agonizing slowness, their thoughts and movements playing out over centuries rather than seconds. To these entities, the frantic pace of life on Earth would be incomprehensible, a blur of activity too rapid to perceive. The possibilities extend even further when we consider the potential for life to exist in seemingly inhospitable places. The interstellar medium, once thought to be too sparse to support any form of life, might harbor diffuse beings spread across light years. These entities, more akin to patterns in the cosmic web than to discrete organisms, could think and grow on timescales beyond human comprehension, their very existence challenging our definitions of life and consciousness. Even the void of space itself might not be as empty as we once thought. Quantum fluctuations in the vacuum could, theoretically, give rise to complex structures. While purely speculative, the idea of life emerging from the fabric of space-time itself is a testament to the boundless possibilities that await us in our exploration of alien worlds to as we push the boundaries of our imagination. We must also confront the possibility of life so foreign that we might fail to recognize it altogether. On a neutron star, where a teaspoon of matter weighs as much as a mountain on Earth, could life exist in the form of complex patterns within the star's superfluid interior? These patterns propagating through the ultra-dense matter might constitute thinking, feeling beings with an intelligence vastly different from our own. The search for alien life also forces us to question our assumptions about the nature of intelligence and consciousness. We often imagine alien civilizations as technological societies similar to our own, but what if intelligence manifests in ways we can't fathom? Consider a planet-wide fungal network, slowly growing and changing over millennia. It's mycelial threads forming a vast, distributed intelligence that ponders the cosmos in ways no human mind could grasp that are picture a gas giant where storms the size of planets rage for centuries. Within these tempests, electrical phenomena of immense complexity could give rise to a form of atmospheric intelligence, its thoughts encoded in patterns of lightning and wind. Such a being might view solid matter as we view the vacuum of space. An insubstantial nothing compared to the rich complexities of its gaseous home that as we contemplate these alien worlds, we must also consider the possibility of life that transcends the physical entirely. Could advanced civilizations evolve beyond biological constraints, uploading their consciousness into vast computational substrates? These post-biological entities might exist as pure information, spreading across the cosmos at the speed of light, transforming entire planets into processors to fuel their unfathomable thoughts. The diversity of potential alien worlds extends to their very structure. While we're accustomed to thinking of planets as spheres orbiting stars, other configurations are possible. Imagine a toroidal, donut-shaped planet, its unusual gravity creating bands of habitable zones with unique day-night cycles. Life on such a world would need to adapt to rapidly changing conditions as it moved through areas of varying gravity and illumination. Even more mind-bending are the possibilities presented by worlds that exist not in normal space, but in higher dimensions. Theoretical physics suggests the existence of extraspatial dimensions beyond the three we experience. Could life evolve in these hidden dimensions, utterly imperceptible to our 3D senses? Such beings might interpenetrate our reality, their actions appearing to us as inexplicable quantum phenomena. The concept of panspermia, the idea that life could spread between planets via asteroids or other means, opens up even more possibilities for alien worlds. Imagine a solar system where life emerged on one world, only to be scattered across neighboring planets by a cataclysmic impact. Each of these seeded worlds might then become a laboratory of evolution, with the same initial life forms adapting to radically different environments. A visit to such a system would be like witnessing parallel evolutionary histories. Each planet a window into what might have been done as we push the boundaries of our imagination. We must also consider the timescales on which alien life might operate. 
on a planet orbiting a red dwarf star, which can burn for trillions of years. Life might evolve at a pace so slow it would appear motionless to human observers. Conversely, around short-lived stars, life might flash into existence and burn out in cosmic instants, entire civilizations rising and falling in the span of a few Earth years. The environments that could host life extend beyond planets and moons. Brown dwarfs, objects too large to be planets but too small to sustain stellar fusion, present another intriguing possibility. These failed stars emit a faint glow and could potentially host worlds in close orbits. Life on a planet circling a brown dwarf might rely on infrared radiation, evolving visual systems that perceive heat rather than light as we know it. Even the space between stars holds potential for alien habitats. Rogue planets, ejected from their solar systems, drift through the galaxy in eternal night. Yet these wandering worlds might retain enough internal heat to support subsurface oceans, sheltered from the cold of interstellar space. Life here would evolve in complete isolation, perhaps developing extraordinary sensitivities to gravity or magnetic fields to navigate their lightless realm. The shapes and forms that alien life might take are limited only by the laws of physics and the power of evolution. On high-gravity worlds, life might remain microscopic, forming vast colonial organisms that span entire continents. In the tenuous atmospheres of small, low-gravity moons, we might find giants, delicate, gossamer beings that float on the slightest breeze, their bodies encompassing volumes larger than Earth's greatest whales that I guess we contemplate these alien worlds, we must also consider the impact of time. Over billions of years, planets change dramatically. A world that starts out as a water-rich ocean planet might slowly lose its atmosphere, becoming a desert world where life retreats underground. Conversely, a once-frozen planet might thaw as its star's output increases, giving rise to new forms of life in its newly formed seas. Each planet is not just a snapshot of alien life, but a timeline of evolutionary possibilities. The quest to understand alien worlds also leads us to question the very nature of life itself. Could self-replicating patterns in planetary magnetic fields constitute a form of life? What about complex chemical reactions that persist for eons in the icy crust of a frozen world? As we expand our search, we may need to redefine life in broader terms, encompassing phenomena that challenge our Earth-centric preconceptions that I in our journey through possible alien worlds. We've only scratched the surface of what might exist in the vast expanse of the universe. Each star we see in the night sky could be home to worlds beyond our wildest dreams, harboring life forms that would revolutionize our understanding of biology, chemistry, and physics. The diversity of environments, from the crushing depths of gas giants to the ethereal realms of nebulae, promises a universe far stranger and more wondrous than we can imagine that as we continue to explore our own solar system and peer into the depths of space, we edge closer to answering the profound question, are we alone? The worlds of aliens, in all their potential forms, await discovery. Whether we find them in the hidden oceans of icy moons, in the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, or in realms we have yet to imagine. The search for alien life drives us to expand the horizons of human knowledge and understanding. Intelligent beings, the cosmic tapestry of consciousness in the vast expanse of the universe, where countless stars illuminate the cosmic darkness. The possibility of intelligent life beyond Earth tantalizes our imagination. As we embark on this exploration of potential extraterrestrial intelligences, we must first expand our minds to encompass the myriad forms that consciousness might take across the cosmos. Our journey begins with a fundamental question. What defines intelligence? On Earth, we often measure it by problem-solving abilities, self-awareness, and the capacity to manipulate the environment. But in the grand theater of the universe, these criteria may be as provincial as judging all life by its ability to photosynthesize. Let us, then, cast aside our terrestrial biases and imagine intelligence in its most diverse and awe-inspiring forms. Consider, for a moment, a silicon-based life form evolving on a planet with extreme temperature fluctuations. 
This being's intelligence might manifest not in rapid cognition, but in the ability to enter long periods of suspended animation, emerging to process information gathered over centuries. Their thought patterns could resemble the slow growth of crystals, each cognitive leap occurring over time spans that would make human civilization seem as fleeting as a spark that I in the depths of gas giant planets. We might encounter beings composed of complex plasma structures. These entities could possess a form of distributed intelligence, their thoughts propagating as electromagnetic pulses through their amorphous bodies. Communication for such creatures might be indistinguishable from what we would perceive as natural planetary phenomena. Storms, auroras, and magnetic field fluctuations could all be part of a planet-wide discourse of unfathomable depth and complexity. Venturing further into the realm of the exotic, picture a species that exists as patterns of neutrino interactions. These ghostly particles, which pass through normal matter with barely a trace, could form the basis for a type of intelligence that permeates entire star systems. Such beings might perceive the universe in ways utterly alien to us. With the ability to see through planets and stars, their sensory experiences a symphony of subatomic interactions. But intelligence need not be constrained to individual entities. Imagine a collective consciousness arising from a planet-wide fungal network, each spore and neuron in a global brain. This superintelligence might operate on timescales too vast for human comprehension, its thoughts measured in the slow pulse of seasonal changes and geological epochs. To such a being, individual life forms might be viewed as mere cells in its planetary body, their lives and deaths inconsequential to the greater cognitive processes at work that I in the cold reaches of interstellar space. We might encounter intelligence that has long since shed its biological origins. Post-biological entities, having merged with their technology, could exist as vast clouds of nanomachines. These swarms might possess a fluid intelligence, able to reconfigure themselves to tackle any challenge. Their collective consciousness, an ever-shifting network of quadrillions of individual units. The concept of intelligence could extend even further into the realm of the cosmic. Consider the possibility of sentient stars, their plasma flows and fusion reactions forming the basis of thought processes that span millions of years. These stellar minds might communicate through gravitational waves, their conversations rippling across light years, discussing concepts as alien to us as quantum mechanics would be to an amoeba. As we ponder these possibilities, we must also consider intelligences that transcend our understanding of space and time. Beings that exist in higher dimensions might perceive our three-dimensional universe as we would view a flat photograph. Their intelligence could operate on principles that defy our logic, capable of seeing all points in space and time simultaneously, their decision-making processes incomprehensible to our linear thinking. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence often focuses on technological markers, radio signals, megastructures, or other signs of advanced civilization. But what if the most profound intelligences in the universe shun technology altogether? Picture a species that has evolved perfect symbiosis with its environment, its intelligence manifested in a deep, intuitive understanding of natural processes. Such beings might view our reliance on external tools as a primitive crutch, their mastery of biology and physics allowing them to shape worlds through thought alone. Intelligence might also emerge in forms that challenge our very definition of life. In the quantum realm, where the boundaries between observer and observed blur, could consciousness arise from the complex interplay of subatomic particles? These quantum intelligences might exist in a superposition of states, their thoughts unfolding in multiple realities simultaneously, each decision branching into parallel universes. The concept of individual intelligence itself might be a limited, Earth-centered view. In some corners of the cosmos, we might encounter hive minds of staggering complexity. Imagine a species where each individual is but a single neuron in a planet-wide brain, their bodies linked by electromagnetic fields or exotic particles. The thoughts of such a collective would be as far beyond our comprehension as our intelligence is beyond that of a single cell in our bodies. Time that ever-flowing river that shapes our perception of reality might be experienced in radically different ways by alien intelligences. 
Beings living near the event horizon of a black hole, where time dilation effects are extreme, might evolve cognitive processes that allow them to think and act in the warped space-time of their environment. To these entities, the few seconds it takes us to form a thought might encompass eons of contemplation and action. The nature of consciousness itself could vary wildly across the universe. While we experience a continuous stream of awareness, other intelligences might have discrete, quantum-like states of consciousness. These beings might blink in and out of awareness, each moment of cognition separated by periods of non-existence, their memories and personalities reassembling with each conscious interval that I in our search for intelligent life. We often assume that other beings will share our curiosity about the cosmos and desire for exploration. But what if we encounter an intelligence so vast and ancient that it has already unraveled the mysteries of the universe? Such a being might appear entirely passive, its contentment in simply existing mistaken by us for lack of intelligence or ambition. The methods of communication employed by extraterrestrial intelligences could be as diverse as their forms. Beyond sound waves or electromagnetic radiation, Advanced species might communicate through gravitational waves, neutrino emissions, or even by manipulating the fabric of space-time itself. Deciphering such messages would require a fundamental shift in our understanding of physics and information theory. Intelligence might also manifest in ways that blur the line between organic and inorganic. Picture a crystalline entity slowly growing over millennia, its atomic structure encoding vast amounts of information. As it absorbs radiation and matter from its environment, it processes this input, its very structure a living computer of incredible complexity. To interact with such a being might require us to think in terms of geological timescales, each exchange of information taking centuries to complete. The evolution of intelligence across the cosmos might follow patterns we can scarcely imagine. On planets with extreme conditions, Natural selection might favor the development of psychic abilities over physical adaptations. Imagine a species that evolved telepathy as a means of communication in an environment where sound cannot travel, their minds linked across vast distances, forming a planetary web of shared consciousness that I in the depths of interstellar space. We might encounter beings that have evolved to harness the power of vacuum energy. These entities, existing in the near-perfect cold and emptiness between stars, might possess intelligences optimized for the most efficient information processing possible, their thoughts unfolding with a clarity and speed that would make our fastest supercomputers seem glacial by comparison. The concept of emotion, so central to human intelligence, might manifest in utterly alien ways in other beings. An intelligence evolved in the plasma of a star might experience emotions as fluctuations in its magnetic field, its joy or sorrow expressed as solar flares visible across light years. Or consider a gaseous being inhabiting the atmosphere of a gas giant, its emotional states altering the chemical composition of its body, literally wearing its heart on its sleeve for all to see that as we contemplate these myriad forms of intelligence, we must also consider the possibility of hybrid consciousnesses. Imagine a symbiotic relationship between organic beings and artificial intelligences, each compensating for the limitations of the other, forming a new type of sentience that transcends the boundaries between biology and technology. Such hybrid intelligences might represent the pinnacle of evolution in some corners of the universe, combining the creativity of organic life with the processing power of advanced computers. The very nature of problem-solving, a key indicator of intelligence as we understand it, might take on new dimensions in alien minds. While we often approach problems linearly, other intelligences might operate on principles of simultaneous processing, addressing multiple aspects of a challenge at once in ways our brains simply cannot comprehend. Their solutions might appear to us as intuitive leaps of logic, when in fact they are the result of cognitive processes far more sophisticated than our OWN that I in our search for intelligent life. We often focus on technological achievements. But what if the highest form of intelligence in the universe is one that has moved beyond technology altogether? Picture a species that has achieved such perfect harmony with the fundamental forces of nature that they can manipulate reality itself through pure thought. To these beings, the laws of physics might be as malleable 
as clay in a sculptor's hands. Their intelligence expressed not through tools or machines, but through their ability to shape the very fabric of the cosmos. The concept of memory and learning, so crucial to our understanding of intelligence, might take on entirely new meanings for alien minds. Some beings might have perfect recall, their entire lives accessible at any moment, while others might operate on a continuous present, their intelligence adaptive and reactive, but without the burden of past experiences. Still others might have distributed memories, storing information in the environment around them, turning entire planets into vast, living archives of their collective knowledge. As we push the boundaries of our imagination, we must also consider intelligences that exist beyond the confines of individual bodies or planets. Picture a species that has evolved to exist as pure energy, their consciousness spread across the electromagnetic spectrum. These beings might perceive the universe as a vast web of energy flows, their thoughts and communications indistinguishable from the natural radiation that permeates space. The relationship between intelligence and physical laws might also yield surprising possibilities. In regions of space where the constants of nature differ slightly from our own, intelligence could evolve along radically different paths. Beings in a universe with stronger nuclear forces might develop cognitive processes that operate at the subatomic level, their thoughts playing out in the dance of quarks and gluons. Time, that fourth dimension that shapes our perception of reality, might be experienced in profoundly different ways by alien intelligences. Some beings might perceive time as a spatial dimension, able to move through it as easily as we move through space. Their decision-making processes would be incomprehensible to us, informed by knowledge of future outcomes and past consequences simultaneously. The very drive for survival, which shapes so much of Earth's intelligence, might be absent or radically altered in some extraterrestrial minds. Imagine a species that has achieved effective immortality, either through biological means or by transferring their consciousness to imperishable substrates. How would such eternal beings think? What goals would motivate a mind that has the entire lifespan of the universe to contemplate its existence? In our quest to understand alien intelligence, we must also be open to the possibility of collective consciousnesses that span entire civilizations. Picture a species that has achieved perfect technological and biological integration, each individual a node in a vast galactic network of minds. The intelligence of such a civilization would be the sum of countless individual consciousnesses, yet also something entirely more, a supermind capable of thoughts as far beyond our comprehension as our intelligence is beyond that of the simplest organisms. The concept of self-awareness, often considered a hallmark of advanced intelligence, might manifest in ways we can scarcely imagine in alien minds. Some beings might have a diffuse sense of self, their consciousness spread across multiple bodies or even multiple planets. Others might have a hyper-localized awareness, their entire universe of experience contained within the quantum fluctuations of a single subatomic particle. As we contemplate these diverse forms of intelligence, we must also consider the possibility of beings that exist in states of matter unknown to us. In the extreme conditions found near the event horizons of black holes or in the hearts of neutron stars, exotic forms of matter might give rise to intelligences that operate on principles entirely foreign to our understanding of cognition. The very purpose of intelligence, which we often associate with problem-solving and adaptation, might take on entirely new meanings for alien minds. Some species might have evolved intelligence primarily as a means of artistic expression, their entire civilization dedicated to the creation of cosmic works of art beyond our ability to perceive or appreciate. Others might view intelligence as a tool for spiritual enlightenment their technological achievements merely stepping stones on a path to transcendent understanding of the universe that I in our search for extraterrestrial intelligence. We often assume that other beings will share our curiosity about the cosmos and desire for exploration. But what if we encounter an intelligence so vast and ancient that it has already unraveled the mysteries of the universe? Such a being might appear entirely passive, its contentment in simply existing mistaken by us for lack of intelligence or ambition. The methods of communication employed by extraterrestrial intelligences could be as diverse as their forms. 
Beyond sound waves or electromagnetic radiation, advanced species might communicate through gravitational waves, neutrino emissions, or even by manipulating the fabric of space-time itself. Deciphering such messages would require a fundamental shift in our understanding of physics and information theory that as we reach outward into the cosmos, seeking signs of intelligent life, we must remain open to the possibility that the most profound intelligences in the universe might be so far beyond our current understanding that we fail to recognize them altogether. Like ants scurrying past the foundations of a skyscraper, oblivious to the complexity of human civilization above them. We too might be surrounded by cosmic intelligences whose thoughts and actions shape the very reality we inhabit, yet remain invisible to our limited perceptions that I in the end. Our exploration of potential alien intelligences serves not only to expand our understanding of what might exist in the cosmos, but also to deepen our appreciation for the miracle of consciousness itself. Each hypothetical alien mind we imagine challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about the nature of thought, awareness, and existence. As we continue to search the stars for signs of intelligent life, we embark on a journey that is as much about understanding ourselves as it is about discovering others. The universe, vast and mysterious, undoubtedly holds intelligences far beyond our current imagining. Whether they take the form of energy beings pulsing through the cosmic web, collective minds spanning entire galaxies, or forms of consciousness so alien that we lack the vocabulary to describe them, these potential extraterrestrial intelligences represent the ultimate frontier of discovery. In seeking them out, we expand the boundaries of our own minds, pushing the limits of what we consider possible and reimagining our place in the grand tapestry of cosmic consciousness. Other universes, the infinite tapestry of reality imagine, for a moment, that our universe, vast and wondrous as it is, is but a single thread in an incomprehensibly larger tapestry of existence. This is the awe-inspiring concept of the multiverse, a theoretical framework that suggests our reality is just one of many, perhaps infinite, universes coexisting in a grand cosmic dance. As we embark on this mind-bending journey through the realm of other universes, prepare to have your perception of reality challenged and expanded beyond the limits of conventional thought. The idea of multiple universes has long captivated the imaginations of physicists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding, forcing us to grapple with questions that shake the very foundations of our existence. What if every decision we've ever made spawned a new universe? What if the fundamental constants of nature vary from one universe to another, giving rise to realities with physics so alien that they defy our comprehension. Let's begin our exploration with the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, proposed by physicist Hugh Everett III in 1957. This theory suggests that every time a quantum event occurs, the universe splits into multiple versions, each representing a different outcome. Imagine a cosmic tree, its branches continually bifurcating with every quantum decision, creating an ever-expanding forest of alternate realities that I in one of these parallel universes. Perhaps you chose a different career path, leading to a life unrecognizably different from the one you're living now. In another, the dinosaurs might never have gone extinct, evolving into a sentient species that now dominates a world utterly unlike our own. The implications are staggering. Every possibility, no matter how improbable, exists somewhere in this infinite branching of realities. But the many worlds interpretation is just the beginning of our journey through the multiverse. Let's venture into the realm of bubble universes, a concept arising from inflationary theory in cosmology. Picture our universe as a bubble floating in a vast, effervescent sea of space-time. This sea, known as the false vacuum, is incredibly unstable, constantly sprouting new bubbles new universes in a process of eternal inflation. Each of these bubble universes might have its own unique laws of physics, its own fundamental constants, and its own dimensions of space and time. In one bubble, gravity might be the dominant force, creating a universe of supermassive structures beyond our imagining. In another, the electromagnetic force might reign supreme, 
giving rise to realities where light and energy dance in patterns of incomprehensible beauty. The bubble multiverse raises profound questions about the nature of our own existence. Are we truly unique? Or are there infinite versions of Earth, each slightly different, floating in their own bubbles of space-time? Could these bubbles ever collide? And if so, what cataclysmic events might unfold at the boundary between two universes? As we ponder these questions, let's shift our focus to the brain multiverse, a concept stemming from string theory. In this model, our entire universe is conceptualized as a three-dimensional membrane, or brain, floating in a higher dimensional space. Other brains, other universes, might exist parallel to our own, separated by an infinitesimal distance in dimensions we can't perceive. Imagine these brains as sheets of paper stacked atop one another, each representing a universe with its own cosmic history and future. These brains might oscillate, ripple, or even collide, potentially explaining phenomena in our universe that have long puzzled scientists, such as the nature of dark matter or the origin of the Big Bang itself. The brain multiverse opens up tantalizing possibilities for interuniversal interactions. Could gravitational forces from nearby brains be responsible for the large-scale structure of our cosmos? Might it be possible, with sufficiently advanced technology, to detect the presence of these neighboring universes or even communicate across the void between brains? As we delve deeper into the concept of other universes, we encounter the cyclic model, which proposes that our universe is just one iteration in an endless cycle of big bangs and big crunches. In this view, the universe expands, contracts, and is reborn in a cosmic phoenix-like cycle, each iteration potentially governed by different physical laws. Picture a cosmic hourglass, eternally turning, each grain of sand representing a universe that lives, dies, and is reborn. In this model, time itself becomes cyclical on a grand scale, challenging our linear perception of past, present, and future. Could remnants of previous universal cycles be detectable in the cosmic microwave background radiation that permeates our sky? Might our actions in this universe somehow echo into the next iteration of the cosmic cycle? The concept of other universes extends beyond these physical models into the realm of mathematical abstraction with the mathematical universe hypothesis. This audacious idea, proposed by cosmologist Max Tegmark, suggests that all mathematically consistent structures exist as physical realities somewhere in the multiverse. Imagine a library of infinite size, each book containing the mathematical description of a possible universe. In this cosmic library, our universe is but a single volume among countless others. Some of these mathematical structures might give rise to universes similar to our own, while others could describe realities so bizarre that they defy our ability to comprehend them. This hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of existence itself. If all mathematically possible universes exist, does that mean our reality is nothing more than a set of equations? Are we living in a universe selected for its mathematical elegance? Or are we merely one random instantiation among an infinity of possibilities as we grapple with these mind-bending concepts? Let's consider the implications of a simulated multiverse. In this scenario, advanced civilizations might create vast simulations of entire universes, complete with sentient beings unaware of their simulated nature. If such simulations are possible, statistics suggest that simulated realities might vastly outnumber base realities. Picture a cosmic computer of unimaginable power, running countless simulations of entire universes, each with its own laws of physics, its own history, and its own conscious inhabitants. In this model, our universe might be just one simulation among many, raising profound questions about the nature of free will, consciousness, and the very fabric of reality itself. The simulated multiverse concept blurs the line between creation and discovery. Are the programmers of these simulated universes akin to gods, shaping realities with lines of code? Or are they more like explorers, uncovering pre-existing mathematical structures in the vast landscape of possible universes? As we continue our journey through the realm of other universes, we encounter the idea of the holographic universe. This theory, 
inspired by the holographic principle and string theory, suggests that our three-dimensional reality might be a projection of information stored on a two-dimensional surface, much like a hologram. Imagine our entire cosmos as a vast, cosmic hologram, with all the information about our three-dimensional existence encoded on the two-dimensional boundary of our universe. In this model, other universes might exist as different holograms, each projected from its own unique two-dimensional information surface. The holographic principle challenges our most basic assumptions about the nature of space, time, and dimensionality. If our reality is indeed a hologram, what does that imply about the true nature of the multiverse? Could the boundaries between universes be more porous than we imagine, allowing information to flow between different cosmic holograms? As we push the boundaries of our imagination even further, we encounter the concept of the quantum multiverse, where the very act of observation shapes reality. In this model, consciousness itself plays a crucial role in determining which of many possible universes becomes actualized. Picture reality as a shimmering, ever-changing tapestry of possibilities, only solidifying into a specific configuration when observed by a conscious entity. In this view, every conscious decision, every act of perception, shapes the universe not just on a local scale, but on a cosmic one, potentially giving rise to entirely new branches of reality. This interpretation of the multiverse raises profound philosophical questions about the role of consciousness in the cosmos. Are we passive observers of reality or active participants in its creation? Could the collective consciousness of all sentient beings across the multiverse be shaping the very fabric of existence itself? As we contemplate these possibilities, let's consider the concept of the fractal multiverse. In this model, the structure of reality repeats itself at different scales from the quantum realm to the cosmic and potentially beyond our observable universe. Imagine zooming out from our universe, only to find that it's a mere atom in a larger cosmic structure, which is itself part of an even grander reality. This recursive pattern could continue infinitely, each level of reality nested within a larger one, like an endless series of Russian dolls. The fractal multiverse concept suggests that the distinction between micro and macro scales might be illusory, with similar patterns and laws governing reality at all levels. Could our entire universe be a mere particle in a vast, higher-dimensional organism? Might we ourselves contain entire universes within the structures of our atoms? As we delve deeper into the realm of other universes, we encounter the idea of the oscillating multiverse. In this model, universes expand and contract in rhythmic cycles, potentially interacting with each other at the points of maximum contraction. Picture a cosmic dance of countless universes, each swelling and shrinking in its own unique rhythm. At the nadir of each contraction, these universes might briefly touch, exchanging energy, matter, or even fundamental laws of physics. Could these fleeting cosmic encounters explain anomalies in our own universe's structure or behavior? The oscillating multiverse raises intriguing possibilities for the transfer of information or even life between universes. Might advanced civilizations find ways to survive the contraction of their home universe by migrating to another during these moments of cosmic contact? Could the seeds of life in our universe have originated in a previous cosmic cycle or a neighboring reality? As we push our understanding of the multiverse to its limits, we encounter the concept of the conscious multiverse. This idea suggests that consciousness itself might be a fundamental property of the cosmos, with different universes representing different states of cosmic awareness. Imagine the multiverse as a vast, cosmic mind, each universe a thought or a dream within this greater consciousness. In this model, our own awareness might be a localized expression of this universal mind, our experiences contributing to the grand tapestry of cosmic cognition, the conscious multiverse concept blurs the lines between physics and metaphysics, science, and spirituality. It raises profound questions about the nature of reality, consciousness, and our place in the cosmic order. Are we individual entities separate from the universe, or are we integral parts of a greater cosmic awareness, temporarily experiencing the illusion of separation? As we near the end of our journey through the realm of other universes, 
Let's consider the implications of the multiverse for the concept of infinity itself. If there are indeed infinite universes, does that mean that every possible reality not only exists, but exists an infinite number of times? Picture an endless series of yous, living out every possible variation of your life across the infinite expanse of the multiverse. In one reality, you might be a celebrated artist. In another, a renowned scientist. In yet another, perhaps you never existed at all. The implications of this infinite variation are both exhilarating and unsettling, challenging our notions of uniqueness and fate. The concept of infinite universes also raises questions about the nature of probability and possibility. In an infinite multiverse, does the improbable become inevitable? Do universes exist where the laws of logic themselves break down, giving rise to realities that defy our ability to comprehend or describe them? As we grapple with these mind-bending concepts, we must also consider the practical implications of the multiverse theory for our understanding of physics, philosophy, and the nature of existence itself. If other universes do exist, how might we detect them? What would proof of the multiverse mean for our scientific and philosophical worldviews? Some scientists propose that evidence of other universes might be detectable in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang that permeates our sky. Others suggest that anomalies in the distribution of matter in our universe might be signs of gravitational influences from neighboring realities. The search for other universes pushes the boundaries of our technological capabilities and our theoretical frameworks. It challenges us to develop new tools, both conceptual and physical, to probe the very edges of existence. From advanced particle accelerators to space-based gravitational wave detectors, the quest to understand the multiverse drives innovation across scientific disciplines. But the implications of the multiverse extend far beyond the realm of physics. They touch on fundamental questions of ethics, purpose, and the meaning of life itself. If every possible reality exists, what value do our choices and actions have? Does the multiverse offer a form of cosmic immortality, with versions of ourselves living on indefinitely across infinite realities? These questions lead us to the philosophical concept of modal realism, which suggests that all possible worlds are equally real. In this view, the multiverse isn't just a physical reality, but a logical necessity, encompassing every conceivable state of affairs. Imagine a vast landscape of possibility where every potential reality exists as a distinct world, equally valid and equally real. This concept challenges our notions of actuality and possibility, suggesting that what we consider real is merely the world we happen to inhabit, with no special status among the infinite array of alternatives. The idea of modal realism has profound implications for our understanding of counterfactuals, causality, and the nature of truth itself. If all possible worlds exist, does that mean that contradictory statements can both be true, just in different realities? How does this affect our concepts of logic and reasoning? As we contemplate these mind-bending possibilities, we must also consider the emotional and psychological impact of the multiverse concept on our lives and societies. How does the idea that infinite versions of ourselves exist across countless realities affect our sense of identity and purpose? For some, the multiverse offers comfort, suggesting that somewhere, in some reality, our deepest wishes and wildest dreams come true. For others, it might be a source of existential anxiety, raising questions about the significance of our choices and the uniqueness of our experiences. The concept of other universes also has profound implications for our understanding of creativity and innovation. If every possible idea exists somewhere in the multiverse, is true originality possible? Or are our creative endeavors simply acts of tapping into the infinite well of possibilities that the multiverse represents? This idea extends to the realm of art and literature, where the concept of parallel universes has long been a source of inspiration. From science fiction stories exploring alternate histories to paintings depicting impossible realities, the multiverse concept continues to fuel creative expression across cultures and disciplines that as we delve deeper into the implications of the multiverse, we must also consider its potential impact on our understanding of consciousness and the nature of the self. If infinite versions of us exist across countless realities, 
What does that mean for our sense of individual identity? Some philosophers propose that consciousness might be a fundamental property of the multiverse itself, with our individual awareness merely a localized expression of a greater cosmic consciousness. In this view, our experiences and perspectives might be contributing to a vast, multiversal tapestry of awareness, each universe a thought in the mind of an incomprehensible cosmic entity. This concept of panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe, takes on new dimensions in the context of the multiverse. If consciousness permeates all of reality, how might it manifest in universes with radically different physical laws? Could forms of awareness exist that are utterly alien to our understanding, arising from principles we can't even conceive of? The multiverse concept also has intriguing implications for our understanding of time and causality. In a reality where all possible timelines exist simultaneously, what becomes of our notion of past, present, and future? Could the arrow of time itself be an illusion, a product of our limited perspective within a single universe? Some theories suggest that time might flow differently in different universes or even in different regions of the same universe. Imagine realities where cause and effect are reversed or where multiple timelines coexist and interact in ways that defy our linear understanding of causality. Connections and Implications The cosmic web of life and reality as we stand at the precipice of understanding, gazing into the vast expanse of possibilities that alien life and multiple universes present. We find ourselves confronted with a tapestry of connections and implications so profound that they challenge the very foundations of our existence. This exploration is not merely an academic exercise. It is a journey that touches the core of who we are, where we come from, and what our place might be in the grand cosmic scheme. Let us embark on a thought-provoking odyssey through the interconnected realms of extraterrestrial life and parallel realities, examining how these concepts reshape our understanding of life, consciousness, and the nature of existence itself. Imagine, for a moment, the day we confirm the existence of alien life. Whether it's a microscopic organism thriving in the subsurface oceans of Europa or an advanced civilization broadcasting signals from a distant star system, this discovery would irrevocably alter our perception of life and our place in the universe. The implications would ripple through every facet of human society, from science and philosophy to religion and art. The confirmation of extraterrestrial life would force us to reconsider the very definition of life itself. Our current understanding is inherently Earth-centric, based on carbon-based organisms that require water and specific environmental conditions. But what if we encounter silicon-based life forms that thrive in seas of liquid methane? or beings composed of plasma, existing in the coronas of stars? Each new form of life we discover would expand our understanding of what's possible, challenging us to think beyond the limitations of our terrestrial experience. This expanded definition of life would have far-reaching implications for our search for habitable worlds. Planets and moons that we currently consider inhospitable might suddenly become prime candidates for hosting alien life. The Goldilocks Zone the region around a star where conditions are just right for life as we know it could expand dramatically, encompassing environments we once thought impossibly harsh or alien. But the implications extend far beyond biology. The discovery of alien life would prompt us to reevaluate our place in the cosmic hierarchy. If life is common in the universe, are we as special as we've always believed? Or are we merely one of countless species populating the cosmos? This shift in perspective could be both humbling and exhilarating, diminishing our sense of cosmic importance while simultaneously connecting us to a larger, universal family of living beings. The potential for discovering intelligent alien life adds another layer of complexity to these implications. Contact with an advanced extraterrestrial civilization could revolutionize our technology, our understanding of the universe, and our own cultural development. Imagine gaining access to scientific knowledge that's thousands or even millions of years ahead of our own. The advancement in fields like medicine, energy production, and space travel could solve many of humanity's most pressing problems and open up new frontiers for exploration and growth. However, contact with alien intelligence also raises profound ethical and existential questions. 
How would we communicate with beings whose thought processes and perceptions might be radically different from our own? What if their moral and ethical frameworks are incompatible with ours? The challenges of interspecies diplomacy would dwarf anything we've faced in human history, requiring us to develop new paradigms for understanding and interaction. The implications of alien contact extend to our own sense of identity as a species. Humanity has long defined itself in contrast to the other life forms on Earth. But faced with intelligent alien life, we might find ourselves redefining what it means to be human. Our unique traits and abilities, which we've long prided ourselves on, might seem commonplace or even primitive in comparison to advanced extraterrestrial beings. This could lead to a fundamental shift in our collective self-image and our understanding of our role in the universe that as we grapple with these implications, we must also consider how the existence of alien life intersects with the concept of multiple universes. If life exists elsewhere in our universe, what about in other universes within the multiverse? The possibilities become truly mind-boggling when we consider that each universe might have its own unique physical laws, potentially giving rise to forms of life so alien that we can't even conceive of them with our limited, single-universe perspective. The multiverse theory itself has profound implications for our understanding of life and existence. If infinite universes exist, then somewhere out there, every possible variation of life and every conceivable evolutionary path has played out. This includes universes where life never emerged at all, as well as those teeming with civilizations so advanced they might appear godlike to us. This concept challenges our notions of uniqueness and significance. In an infinite multiverse, there would be infinite versions of Earth, each slightly different. There would be countless versions of you, living out every possible variation of your life. This raises deep philosophical questions about identity, free will, and the nature of consciousness itself. Are we truly individuals? Or are we just one expression of a multiversal self, experiencing one of infinite possible lives? The implications of the multiverse theory extend to our understanding of physics and the nature of reality itself. If multiple universes exist, each with its own physical laws, what does that mean for our quest to uncover the fundamental truths of existence? The laws we consider immutable, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, might be mere local phenomena specific to our particular universe. This realization could revolutionize our approach to physics, pushing us to seek a deeper, multiversal understanding of reality. Consider the anthropic principle in light of the multiverse theory. This principle suggests that the fundamental constants of our universe seem fine-tuned for the emergence of life. But in a multiverse scenario, this apparent fine-tuning might simply be a selection effect. We find ourselves in this particular universe precisely because its physical laws allow for our existence. This shifts the question from why is our universe suitable for life? To given that we exist, what can we infer about the nature of the multiverse? The concept of multiple universes also has intriguing implications for the idea of cosmic evolution. Just as life on Earth evolved through natural selection, could universes themselves be subject to a form of selection pressure? Might there be a mechanism by which universes that are more conducive to the emergence of life and intelligence are more likely to spawn new universes, leading to a kind of cosmic evolutionary process? This idea of cosmic evolution ties back to the implications of alien life. If universes can evolve to become more life-friendly, and if life itself is a common phenomenon across the multiverse, then the emergence of intelligence might be an inevitable outcome of cosmic evolution. This would suggest that the universe, or multiverse, might have an inherent tendency towards increasing complexity and consciousness. The intersection of alien life and multiple universes also raises fascinating questions about the potential for interuniversal contact or travel. If advanced civilizations exist in other universes, might they have found ways to pierce the barriers between realities? The implications of such capabilities are staggering. Imagine a civilization with the ability to traverse not just interstellar or intergalactic space, but the very boundaries between universes. This concept of interuniversal travel opens up new avenues for thinking about the Fermi paradox. 
The apparent contradiction between the high probability of alien civilizations existing and the lack of evidence for them. Perhaps the reason we haven't detected signs of advanced alien life is that truly advanced civilizations have moved beyond our observable universe, exploring the vast landscape of the multiverse instead. The implications of these ideas extend to our understanding of consciousness and its role in the cosmos. Some theories suggest that consciousness itself might be a fundamental property of the universe, or even the multiverse. In this view, our individual consciousnesses might be localized expressions of a larger, universal awareness. The discovery of alien life, particularly intelligent life, could provide new insights into the nature of consciousness and its relationship to physical reality. Consider the possibility that consciousness plays a role in shaping reality at a quantum level. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that the act of observation influences the behavior of quantum particles. In a multiverse context, could conscious observers in different universes be influencing the very fabric of their realities? This raises mind-bending questions about the relationship between mind and matter and the role of consciousness in the structure of the multiverse. The implications of alien life and multiple universes also touch on our concepts of spirituality and the meaning of existence. Many religious and philosophical traditions have grappled with humanity's place in the cosmos and the purpose of our existence. How would these worldviews adapt to the confirmation of alien life or the reality of multiple universes? Some might see the vastness and diversity of life in the cosmos as evidence of a grand design, a testament to the creativity and power of a divine creator. Others might find spiritual significance in the interconnectedness of all life, seeing the universe, or multiverse, as a vast, living entity of which we are all a part. Still others might find meaning in the very act of exploration and discovery, viewing humanity's role as cosmic pioneers, seeking to understand and connect with the infinite diversity of existence. The ethical implications of these concepts are equally profound. If infinite universes exist, and if our actions spawn new universe branches as some theories suggest, what does that mean for the concept of moral responsibility? Are we responsible for the consequences of our actions across all possible universe branches? Or does the existence of infinite possibilities render our individual choices meaningless? Conversely, the multiverse concept might imbue our actions with even greater significance. If every choice we make creates a new universe branch, then each decision becomes an act of universal creation. This perspective could foster a deep sense of responsibility and mindfulness in our daily lives, knowing that our choices are shaping the very fabric of reality. The implications of alien life and multiple universes also extend to our understanding of time and causality. In a multiverse scenario, with infinite timelines branching out from every quantum event, what becomes of our linear conception of time? Could advanced civilizations have found ways to navigate these branching timelines, effectively traveling through time by moving between universe branches? This concept of timeline navigation raises mind-bending possibilities. Could the UFO phenomena, long a subject of speculation and controversy, be evidence not of extraterrestrial visitors, but of our own descendants from alternate timeline branches, exploring the multiverse? Such a possibility would blur the lines between past, present, and future, challenging our most basic assumptions about the nature of time and causality. The implications of these ideas also touch on the concept of cosmic cycles and the ultimate fate of the universe. Some theories suggest that universes might go through cycles of expansion and contraction, perhaps even colliding and interacting with other universes in a vast cosmic dance. In this view, our universe might be just one iteration in an endless cycle of cosmic death and rebirth. This cyclical view of the cosmos has intriguing implications for the concept of information and the preservation of complexity. Could information from previous universe cycles be encoded in the fundamental structure of our current universe? Might advanced civilizations find ways to survive the death of their universe by encoding their knowledge and even their consciousness into the fabric of the next cosmic iteration? As we contemplate these vast ideas, we must also consider their practical implications for our daily lives and for the future of humanity. 
The concepts of alien life and multiple universes, far from being abstract philosophical musings, have the potential to radically reshape our societies and our collective goals as a species. The search for extraterrestrial life, for instance, could become a unifying mission for humanity, bringing nations and cultures together in a common purpose. The resources and collaborative effort required for such a monumental task could drive unprecedented advances in science and technology, benefiting life on Earth even as we reach out to the stars. Similarly, the concept of multiple universes could revolutionize our approach to problem solving and innovation. If we truly grasp the idea that infinite possibilities exist, might we become more creative, more willing to explore unconventional ideas? Could the multiverse concept inspire new approaches to fields as diverse as mathematics, art, and social organization? The implications of these ideas also extend to our long-term survival as a species. The concept of multiple universes offers a potential solution to the ultimate fate of our universe. Even if our current universe is doomed to eventual heat death or a big crunch, the existence of other universes offers the possibility of cosmic escape routes. This could drive the development of technologies aimed at detecting and eventually traversing the boundaries between universes. Moreover, the possibility of alien life challenges us to think more broadly about the concept of ecosystem and our role within it. If life is common in the universe, then we must consider our place in a vast cosmic ecosystem. This perspective could drive a more holistic, sustainable approach to our interactions with our own planet and any other worlds we might eventually explore or colonize. The implications of alien life and multiple universes also touch on the nature of reality itself and our ability to perceive and understand it. Our senses and cognitive abilities have evolved to navigate the macroscopic, three-dimensional world of our everyday experience. But the true nature of reality, as suggested by these concepts, might be far more complex and multifaceted than we can directly perceive. This realization challenges us to develop new tools and frameworks for understanding reality. Just as microscopes and telescopes expanded our ability to perceive the very small and the very large, we might need to develop new conceptual and technological tools to grasp the full complexity of a multiversal reality teeming with alien life. Artificial intelligence could play a crucial role in this expanded understanding. AI systems, unencumbered by the limitations of human cognition, might be better equipped to model and comprehend the complexities of multiple universes and alien life forms. This could lead to a new kind of symbiotic relationship between human and artificial intelligence, with AI extending our cognitive abilities and allowing us to explore realms of thought and understanding previously inaccessible to us. The implications of these concepts also extend to our understanding of information and computation. If infinite universes exist, could they collectively function as a vast, cosmic computer capable of solving problems of unimaginable complexity? This idea, sometimes referred to as cosmological computation, suggests that the very structure of the multiverse might be harnessed for computational purposes. This concept ties back to the implications of alien life. Advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might have already developed technologies to tap into this cosmic computational power. The ability to harness the information processing capabilities of multiple universes would represent a level of technological advancement far beyond our current imagining, with profound implications for our understanding of intelligence, consciousness, and the nature of reality itself that I guess we grapple with these mind-expanding concepts. We must also consider their potential impact on our psychological well-being and our sense of purpose. The vastness and complexity suggested by the ideas of alien life and multiple universes can be overwhelming, potentially leading to feelings of cosmic insignificance or existential anxiety. However, these concepts can also be a source of profound wonder and inspiration. The realization that we are part of a vast, interconnected cosmic tapestry, potentially linked to countless other forms of life across multiple universes, can foster a deep sense of connection and purpose. It challenges us to think beyond our individual concerns and to consider our role in the grand cosmic story. This expanded perspective could drive a new kind of cosmic ethics, based on the recognition of our interconnectedness with all life and all possible realities. 
It could inspire us to act with greater care and consideration, knowing that our actions might have repercussions far beyond our immediate perception. The implications of alien life and multiple universes also touch on the nature of creativity and innovation. If infinite possibilities exist across the multiverse, is true originality possible? Or is all creation simply the discovery or manifestation of possibilities that already exist in the vast landscape of the multiverse? This question challenges our concepts of authorship and innovation. It suggests that creative acts might be seen as a form of cosmic exploration, with artists, scientists, and innovators serving as pioneers, venturing into the uncharted territories of possibility space. This perspective could radically reshape our approach to creativity and problem solving, encouraging us to think beyond the constraints of our immediate reality and to draw inspiration from the infinite possibilities of the multiverse. As we conclude our exploration of the implications of alien life and multiple universes, we find ourselves standing on the threshold of a new understanding of reality. These concepts challenge us to expand our thinking, to question our most basic assumptions, and to reimagine our place in the cosmos. The journey of discovery is far from over. Each new breakthrough in physics, each new exoplanet discovered, each anomaly in our observations of the cosmos has the potential to reshape our understanding and open up new avenues of exploration. The implications of alien life and multiple universes will continue to unfold driving us forward in our quest to understand the true nature of existence that I end this vast, possibly infinite tapestry of reality. We find ourselves as both observers and participants, our every thought and action potentially rippling across the multiverse. As we continue to explore and to seek understanding, we do so not just for ourselves, but as representatives of all conscious beings across all possible realities, united in the grand adventure of cosmic discovery.